is Thursday morning and I have a 90 minute trainer ride. I've got a bunch of repeats, three minutes, arrow position, pushing the hard wattage, and then jump off 30 minutes on the treadmill. I'm feeling a little better. It's been, tomorrow will be a week. I've been fighting this cold, but I am doing better. So it's time to see how I hold up on the bike. Well, that was 90 minutes. Definitely could feel that I'm still a little under the weather on that bike, just not able to quite hold the same power cadence I have been. But we got through the 90 minutes now, grabbing the shoes, hitting the treadmill for three miles. I am continuing to build up distance with the orthotics in the shoes so far so good. In the beginning, I felt a little bit of a hot spot where that ball is at, kind of just before the uh, ball of the foot. But uh, now I'm used to it and just continue to increase distance. Neighborhood be the name. Neighborhood no crib. Neighborhood that's me. Neighborhood that's me. Neighborhood do the dance. Well, that is it for today. That was 30 minutes, really just focused on keeping my heart rate under 145 or at 145, slowly adding speed until I hit that because I want it to be an easy run. It is really easy for me to just want every run to be a fast run. And because I am building my distance back up, trying to get my heart rate back down, you know, over time I will get faster. I'm really trying to make those easy runs easy. I have a question for you kicker users, Wahoo kicker. I have noticed that fairly consistently my kicker, I believe, falls offline, disconnects, does something because in the middle of a workout, typically when I'm changing gears or going from uh, kind of grinding, sitting and then standing up, all of a sudden wattage goes to zero, starts spinning really fast. Just really not sure and I've looked online, they say maybe it's connecting to another device that you have paired with it. I've disconnected everything, still having an issue. Just noticed there was an update, see if that works, but I'm curious if any of you have had this issue. It is the last day of school for the girls and they wanted to bring donuts to the class, so I am running out to the local donut shop to pick up a couple dozen donuts. Well, that is three dozen glazed donuts. Nice and simple. Everybody gets the same. All right, well, the workday is over. It is 5.30 and the kids are off on a play date with some friends. Last day of school, they're out having some fun. And one of the things I have been lacking on is squeezing in enough strength training like I like to get in. And it's all part of getting back to that consistency. Over the last year, my consistency has been inconsistent. There has been no consistency and my workouts have fallen off. You guys have seen the videos fall off, so I'm really focused on that. Recently, I heard a quote that really resonated to me. It was on the Awake Athlete podcast and it was, trying is an invitation to failure. Essentially, if I'm trying, then I have an excuse already for failing because I'm trying, I'm trying to eat healthy, I'm trying to get my workouts in. I will eat healthy, I will get my workouts in. There is no trying, there is I will do. And it really just drove home that I have been letting things slide too easy. Stay focused and take time away, right? When I have that urge to eat something I shouldn't, just walk away for 10 minutes, meditate, do something, drink some water, but uh, just allow yourself that distance from that decision and help yourself avoid making those bad decisions. That's enough of me talking. I'm gonna hit some weights.
Well, that is it. Whew. Focused on some lighter weight, uh, a little higher reps, but actually not, not that crazy just because I haven't been lifting that much. And the last thing I want is to hit the swim tomorrow morning and just be toast. Now, time to get something to eat. And uh, I'm really craving something sweet, actually. Maybe uh, might need to make a little smoothie. Not bad. Apple, cucumber, spinach, banana, it's protein powder, almond milk, coconut milk, mango. I think that was it. Usually it's whatever's in the fridge. If I'm making something green, then it's all green and, and yellowish stuff. Otherwise, uh, if it's gonna be red, then I'll add some more red in. Otherwise, it just ends up looking like um, poop. I think I'm gonna end this here. I'm gonna enjoy this smoothie. Just enjoy the night. And uh, got an early morning swim tomorrow, and a run, and then the weekend. But I just wanna say thank you to all of you who have been liking the videos, subscribing, leaving comments, sending me messages on social media, as well as those of you, again, who have supported Endurus and my effort to donate the money I make through uh, Endurus and through YouTube and things like that to charities. So actually, while filming this, Gary, thank you. Gary just bought something, he bought a hat and a shirt and just thanks Gary uh, and thank all of you guys for your support. I hope you are doing well. I am, uh, I'm feeling really good, you know, the, the cold is almost gone and feeling positive. We have a little less than eight weeks, like seven and a half, maybe less than that weeks till working. So that is it, I'll see you in the next one. I have been wanting to buy an office chair since starting to work from home. I've got this terrible seat that was like $19 from Harbor Freight and oh, it kills me to sit there. Finally, uh, more than a year in, I bought a drafting chair. See you guys in the next one.